this is a part two of the video for which I'm going to use to give you a quick refreshment to finish this stuff here. Um, say no to Ukrainian European Union membership. Say no now. Okay, and I did outline the dangers of this European Union membership along even with a video I wasn't going to publish one at all on the internet but there are great dangers with this European Union membership the great and grave dangers with this European Union membership because it's a Trojan horse in a big way in the part two I was not successful because I was doing that stuff on an Android but with a laptop, it's going to be easier, stable internet and so on. I was going to outline, mainly I was going to outline the world of lies, the world of totally controlled self-destructive self metrics. The day I made this video here, the four days earlier, I made the video about Zelensky. I get really, really angry about Ukrainian troops exhaustion and Zelensky continuously pointing at Gaza conflict. What appeared to me in my eyes is historically looking on coming total Ukrainian defeat is a very, very, very good excuse Zelensky possibly could use. I did not publish the video because I came to terms the very same day before I published one. I went over MK Ultra and I came to terms and I am really afraid, but at least they did brainwash me. Now this is this is why I want to alert Ukrainian bloggers and I want to alert Ukrainian soldiers on the front line. It's not only the Russian troops that you have to control and should make breakthrough with the weapons you do not possess at this time. You do have to make a breakthrough to me. You have to make a breakthrough to me through your media immediately. If you observe Ukrainian leadership failing you in absolutely any sense, you must not hold back even for a second about what goes on, but you do have to. It doesn't matter whether you gain or you lose. You do have to keep in touch with your bloggers. I'm not saying with me. And if you can get through to me directly, you have to use your bloggers, your media guys to get through to me because they can and they must. The second thing that I have to say to you is if your bloggers, your media, independent media outlets cannot get through uh, and are still do have a problem, so whatever, for whatever reason, it doesn't come to me something. Trust me that as soon as it gets something through in respect to Ukraine, if you are in a lack of something, if you are lagging behind and it just things are out of control and you're being controlled completely on a front line, a must silent uh, while being uh, basically plummeted or something like this on a front line. Uh, then you have to ask, you have to inquire at media outlets that do not want to contact me, get in touch with me, seek the answer for them. If you sense that there is no reason really for something like this not to get out, then you do take initiative to get to me through the independent way. Uh, but you must not hold back because these moments are crucial with a military assistant being tremendously delayed to you. It doesn't matter how much assistance do you get. It matters more when do you get that assistance. United States of America government will write off 
gave you 70 billion dollar aid european member union nations will also do the same thing but you're going to stay without a quarter of ukraine and really will not matter because it all breaks down to the financial numbers to the german calculator to the british calculator to the french to italian calculator they listen to make the biggest donors like most productive for ukraine the best of the best but as i stated this is just job as any other your job is to liberate ukraine how much it costed with what we already see was a super great delay of crucial essential weapons without giving actual results on the front line doesn't fucking matter because that's just a write-off that would be used in continuation for the russo western collaboration cooperation on a greater global scale we will never ever settle for we'll never settle for despite the threats that were given that if you will not uh, under mk Untra, i had to witness persisting ongoing threats from the german side that if we will not go they will go with other one uh, and if we will not go the putin will get better weapons more armed and will repeat the whole thing what well, the fact of the matter is west already failed tremendously ukraine completely i feel and if you already outlined this kind of agenda for yourself talking to the germans right now italians french british spaniards and others then you have outlined the soviet union as a legitimate successor of entire ukraine because you have eaten ukraine from within by demoralizing her betraying her in the back and have believed that you will write off your trade with the putin through the sale of ukraine for the sake of other areas in the world where you have interests such as is in south africa what i demonstrated to earlier is a boar battalion this one here was associated to me during mk ultra with boars in south africa it was more about than um, wives that putin yeah this is how the indian from india journalists um interpreted these issues to me this is what putin want them to interpret the issues to me It's all fake media, it's all fake news. I'm gonna to get to this issue. Um, I was gonna say, but this is not the case. This is a white minority, and this is not a white minority. This is a Dutch minority. This is a Dutch people, um, which under the greater umbrella of the Dutch colonialists in South Africa, have expanded basically to gain their apartheid back, colonization features back on a picture, they have integrated in this Boer picture also what became known as Afrikaans, which are white people mixed with also, uh, in some cases, also with the black people. Uh, but for the major part, Africans are also descendants of Italians french british and other whites 
with whom Boers did initially refuse to even have any kind of uh, really relationship or anything like this. So these are very, very important features for me that we don't mistaken. I have to be ruled here in this case because of what I already outlined, I do not believe God from the West. God from the West has a face that looks like the one from the donkey's ass, basically. It has a face of the mental illness because of which I have lost already 51 years of life. And I don't want to outline to the people of Ukraine and the people from Eastern Europe, whether you're Romania or Hungary or in Poland or Czech, Slovakia, wherever you are located, Bulgaria, Croatia, whatever. Don't see. We have been considered as equal to the Western Europeans, to Americans, to the white Americans. It's a mental illness, which is based on the one in need is a friend indeed. The friend indeed you become when they make you friend in need. The friend in needs are created, in my case, it started in the six months when I was handed to Americans, Britons, Germanoids, French, Italian fascists, just like you throw the ball on a basketball court or you hit the ball on a soccer field. And it lasted for no less than 51 years with my ending up inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2013. My life was scattered through the butchery throughout the globe with an accent on the racial discrimination, fascism, Nazism, out of which I got, I'm going to repeat to you, a diploma, a university, a master degree in 2013, when they finally landed me inside of the psychiatric hospital. Mental illness, which is completely identical and it's actually, it's part of it, it's the same thing, to the international institutions ran by the Western world, such as United Nations, Amnesty International, International Criminal Court, European Court for Human Rights, and other institutions which they use to present themselves to the world as credible, legitimate, and are in fact used to destroy you, to murder you, as I stated earlier, for you to become a ball in a soccer field, in this case, between the Russia and between the European Union members, those that decide about existing Eastern European members in the United States of America. So the European Union, based on my observation so far, when it comes to Eastern Europe, foremost was used as a leverage to control Eastern Europe, basically to compel one into a complete submission in respect to the future parcellation between the so-called European Union, I should say, ex-colonialist imperialist powers and what is becoming more and more evident as a main violator of the human rights and total disregard for human life. That's good old Russia, which in the past already was recognized as one of the most brutal also imperialist countries in the world. What worries me the most in this mental illness is not even a fact that my life was completely disregarded at their international institutions 
the torture that was done on me was presented from their point of view, approved and financed and supported from the part of the world who, where I am at, through their courts, through their legal institutions, where they raise concern for human rights. What worries me the most in this issue of mine is that the situation have not only deteriorated during these last 50 years for what my case was used for, but is deteriorating further and further and further through the news that you see here. Actually, the part I wasn't finished is this one here. This is 11 and a half. This is a 12 hour long video. 12 hour long video, which repeats. We're going to see now. One minute long clip. And here it says, investigation revealed dark side of the Russian army, woman forced into the sex slavery. This is bullshit, because Russian women are forced into the sex slavery. That is the fact of true. However, this woman here are not forced into the sexual slavery. At least I didn't get the impression they were forced into the sex slavery. So what we have here is a case of a matrix of lies. I suggested earlier, mainstream media is using the news that has nothing to do with reality, advertising health options, cancer, all kinds of problems that rich and famous already suffered. Those that were involved in MT Ultra, in my case, is what I mean. I'm not saying that everybody. Numerous cases that were advertised. They are advertising the stuff that people already have gone through. They're advertising the stuff that oftentimes has nothing to do with reality, is fake. And people, if it's advertised like what you see here, like into the forced sex slavery and all kinds of issues like this. Investigators, once they start to investigate, they are always being played down. It always comes that the truth is not so bad. If you would go to investigate this stuff and you would meet these females and you would investigate, you would end up wasting your time if you wouldn't get killed or whatever, stopped by your state already. So that kind of a, is used as a exhaustion of what otherwise should be journalists, investigative journalism. And in the end, proven completely the opposite. That's actually very lucrative to be inside of the Russian army. It says right there, 2,300 euros uh, is what they get paid. It's a lot of money for the Russian standards, they say in, in Deutsche Welle. Yeah, I think it's a lot of money in German standards, too. It's just that in Germany, rent in absolutely everything is fucking draining people completely to the bone. Bills are eating people completely to the bone. But 2,300 euros is quite a lot of money. A stable job, better than search for the job during which you burn your savings. You know what I mean? Better than being thrown on a temporary tourism till you burn all your savings, etc., etc., etc. It's known as a rat race in the Western world. That's why I said, you know, for many reasons, this God from the West does have a face like an anus from the asshole. It does not appeal to me in absolutely any way. It's the kind of God that 
It has nothing. Talking from my point of view has nothing to do with me. It's the kind of God that belongs to them. It belongs to their vision for the Europe and belongs foremost to their vision for the world. Because these people seem to me more and more don't give a fuck about Europe. Seems to me like they don't care about European security. She was involved in it. These guys you see in the background were involved in it. Not only these two girls. I want to go back through this video again. These females were all involved in MKUltra. Vladimir Putin absolutely wanted to know which female I like, which is the one that appeals to me. And he set his eye on this female here. That this is okay. She was involved in MKUltra and was exactly what you see all the also started to do the kind of stuff with me, which I don't know even what he's doing. Um, the one you see here at the center, and the one that you have seen in the other picture, was the one I prepared from this group here. This is the one here. Yeah? But the truth is that under MK Ultra, I started to get heavy with all the females. I started to bother all the females. And that was exactly the idea about it. I didn't care really about them holding these guns and, and, and stuff like this. Uh, to me, I didn't care about any of it. I didn't care what they told me, they are soldiers, wherever they were. To me, it was even. I didn't care about any of that stuff. The one who took this item, injections, injection, did you see right there? I didn't like her. She was not my type. Um, this one became involved in my case since at least 2010. I think she graduated, I think something like this, like in 2008 or something like that. Uh, this is a nurse. Um, next to her is the girl that I told you that I liked. Uh, and what you see this in this clip, in this video was rehearsed to me in my head at their training location, their training facility, in this facility that you see here, over the course of the time, uh, I estimate what you see here, this stuff here, this stuff was rehearsed to me on at least like 10 occasions, exactly the same video. They trained for this video on probably 100 occasions, and out of 100 occasions, they have chosen the best video, the one that was the most appealing, they alone have stated to me. What you see here, this kind of play with what you see right there exactly in this room with exactly these girls, I don't know where this was really recorded. Uh, this stuff inside of this room with these girls started, I estimate even, first I was sure that in 2017 but i think like in 2016 maybe even 2015 
the girl that you see that is right next to the girl that is laughing, uh, they made me ask her, why is she not laughing? She is handing the injection to the, the other girl in front of her. Um, and she stated to me, I'm not laughing about it because of the psychiatry, because you will end up inside of the psychiatry. Um, Vladimir Putin used these females at large to instigate on psychiatry. Vladimir Putin loved nothing more than psychiatric terror. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful video to alert you where you're journalists, whatever it is that you don't don't waste on that kind of stuff. Don't rely on this kind of stuff. Uh, rely on facts. It's a warning to Ukrainian journalism to pay attention more to the needs of people on the front line. That is like the core, the main thing, the main engine that can actually save Ukraine. Actually, I'm going to say Europe. That's why I said earlier that Western God is not my God. Western God has a face like a donkey's ass, basically, like a donkey's arms. That's a Western God. That's a God that does not uh, appeal to me at all. You know, that's that's like a like a god that has a Russian pranksters ring, Italian Prime Minister Maloney, uh, make a prank phone call to Italian Minister Maloney, which then, in a parenthesis, admits to the Russian pranksters how. Uh, European politicians are sick and tired of the war in actually supporting Ukraine and stuff like this. You know what I mean? It's it's a donkey. It's a donkey. It looks like a donkey's ass, like a donkey's anus, and nothing comes out of it other than fucking lies. This kind of partnership is a mental illness, and I sincerely wonder whether the Western Europe and United States of America are going to come out of this. They would if I was there. But in Poland, is already very much not good situation. It came out that Andrzej Duda was elected. It came out as Morawiecki were elected. And don't know really how this is going to end up. The same politicians as before. Apprentices of Kaczynski. Should come out under the normal circumstances a complete rejection of Western politics, because it's nothing other than negotiated war for the sake of territorial needs of the Western world, basically for the, for the sake of the territorial needs of the donkey's ass, of the donkey's anus, which very much have nothing common really with European, but actually are in it for global agenda. God of life, basically. Violence and psychiatry. I'm gonna pay this people more time. I was even brainwashed that I'm bound on the stretcher. And they did throw me on the stretcher, not on one occasion, but at least on several occasions, and they took me out. They insisted I was the one on the stretcher. From the video, however, it becomes completely evident I was not the one on the stretcher, but there was actually a female on the stretcher they have used. It can clearly be seen that the, that is a female with a big ponytail. Video, however, is very misleading. From a rapid point of view, one would quickly get the impression as to, in 2016, 2015, I was fat. And if you pay attention to these females, I also like this female, both of these. If you pay attention to these females, they're in good shape. Exclusively with the female that is laughing over there.
so I had a stomach, and the one on the stretcher also had a stomach. It's a female with facial somewhat characteristic of myself even. That they have filmed under the certain corner deliberately. You see? He, he, he's got a quite a quite a stomach right there. Uh, I had a stomach in 2000 and yeah, you were, you saw me. I don't have to go into it. Uh, but there is a ponytail that is hanging down. It, it was not what one also could assume a bag that is used for the transfer. It's actually a ponytail. It's quite interesting because of profile of the head that you see right there. Uh, folks, under MK Ultra, this makes like a tremendous impression on one. Uh, when they do the stuff like this, you can easily jump to conclusion and make the statement that could really cost you injections, like the girl. Like the girl. And I also had a short hair in 2015, 2016, as you remember. I had a very short hair, too. Just It just looked somewhat like this. You're gonna see this stuff. 12 hours, the same clip repeats over, over, over again. I'm gonna go from Russia with the love. By the way, these are the girls that you see right there who even hijacked me. That's an interesting one. They hijacked me at a local Schumpeter. They orchestrated like what would be hijacking at the local Schumpeter. Just two kilometers from here. Making a noise and this and that and uh, threatening something and so on. They had an MK Ultra with the locals in Schumpeter. I did not even understood what went on. I voluntarily went with them uh, and ended up even asking them if they are not going to hijack me when they left me here in Slovenia. This is hilarious stuff, but it actually did happen. From the Russia, I am going to go straight to Slovenia.
This was reported about yesterday. I don't understand how come that I couldn't find one on Google, through the Google. You know who this guy is? This is the guy from Netherlands who had five Russians inside of the car. Um, it says here he is 21 years old, Dutch, Holland, Netherlands, Dutch. And I am thinking how I'm going to grab this one for the throat. This individual is... This individual is... So I got to be very careful with this stuff, yeah. 21 years old. This individual is a son of a man who participated in MK Ultra and had suffered a car accident in the city of the Novo Mesto, sometimes in what I estimate was exactly on the location that you see right there. Um, he suffered accident with a car. In year in a whole year of 2006. And this year, this is his son, 21 year old Dutch. Who had a five Russian citizens with him. He smuggled them uh, to Slovenia or through Slovenia, obviously that he, obviously that this man smuggled them to Slovenia, right? this becomes completely irrefutable, yes, because there is no person in Holland, in a Netherlands, even those that are suffering some sort of mental issues that would eventually go to the gas station, fuel his tank with a fuel, like this guy did. He went to the gas station, uh, and then he not that he would forget to to pay for the fuel but he used the gas station basically to alert Slovenian police, according also to MKUltra, the case is going to be, about the Russian citizens he would be driving through Slovenia. Do you understand me what the fuck I am saying? No, I'm not crazy, because everything I state, I have proofs. His father was the one who was involved in MKUltra. Then I'm going to get into this issue. And I did left Angela Merkel, the video here. I left her God a cause, you know? I left her a message about the God, about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Today, a little earlier today, actually yesterday, I left her a message about her God. I, I explained here what to me this shit looks like, this donkey, hole, asshole, anus, that they are presenting to one as a God to us. I left her a message. She understand, the Germans understand in, in the end, before I finish this video, I will explain why I know they understand the message. 
I know that you get me in Berlin. I understand your think tank connected to every university throughout Germany understands my fucking message to you. You get it. I know. I understand this stuff. Don't worry. The way you're going, you're going to lose Ukraine and the whole fucking Eastern Europe. The steps that you're walking, you're walking a fucking fine line right now. Your God, your Anus from the castle is about to lose the whole fucking Europe, Eastern Europe, the way you're heading. Don't worry. I'm going to get through. Don't worry about me. There is nothing you can do to me. But you're going to pay severely for the stuff you did to me. Don't worry about me. I'll fucking destroy you. I'm going to use the real God to get you destroyed, to destroy your asshole, honest asshole, from Western Europe and from the U.S. Don't worry about me. A choice that the Dutch Nazi made to appeal to me is straight out of the book of mental illness, of a complete lunacy, of a total bullshit. I never asked for. Just as I explained under this video here that I have supplemented you with. What kind of impression the fuck do you make on me by repeating me from scenario that you will do the stuff like this so that you will alert the police and the Russians aside are the Russians who are involved in MK Ultra. Yes, I know they were involved in MK Ultra. But your anus from the asshole must understand one thing. That your mental illness is not so appealing to us in Eastern Europe. It would be more presentable, you see, if you would bring those Russians to me, you would come here for a coffee, we would sit, we would talk, etc., 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 or you would go and deliver them to a necessary place in Slovenia where they would file for asylum, whatever, and then they would come to me with you and talk to me like a like a human being, but it's no longer wanted. I stated here, it says right here, stay the fuck where you are. Save yourself a trip. I will not even talk to you anymore. Because if you don't know any difference and you did burn me, 51 years of life I lost because of you. And you think the Ukrainians are going to settle for some kind of uh, stuff like this, that you're going to present yourself to, to the Ukrainian people, the Eastern Europeans are going to start to see themselves in this kind of stuff. That he ran 180 kilometers an hour, and then he lost the control over the vehicle and crashed on the local guy here that was involved also probably, I don't know about the guy, but according to MK Ultra, this should be the guy who was also involved in MK Ultra, the Brushka Vas. Probably not even too far from one of the nurses that works at the father is home for elderly people that is assisting him, where police would write me during MK Ultra to see him, identify him, and so on and so forth. Do you hear me what the fuck I'm saying to you? Your God, I should say your mental illness, have gone insane, completely insane, passing all the standards of the mental illness that I previously mentioned, going even beyond your psychiatric institutions such as our United Nations, Amnesty International, Human Court for Human Rights, European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg, International Criminal Court, and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, 
These are not human rights institutions. They are fucking psychiatric institutions, if you ask me. Your God, your anus from the asshole. With the news that you see here. Took even greater and further step ahead. I think this man that is 21 years old has one more brother. And these kids are blonde, white, and Dutch. When the time comes, I will inquire about this stuff and investigate to see if it is true or not. His father is actually, yeah, probably no. I would say he's younger than myself. I would say he's probably like 45 or something like that. And I'm not wrong about this. Do you understand why I see you now as an anus from the asshole? More and more and more. And why I said to you that you're about to, to get destroyed completely. You, you are going to lose the war in Ukraine even. It's not going to be about your global interests. You're going to fucking stagnate into total zero like this, with this kind of criminal conduct. You're wrong if you think I am going to accept people like this. I'm going to talk to the people like this. I'm going to actually interact with the people like this. I'm going to see myself in a story like this. You're fucking wrong about this stuff. You don't know anything about me. Your God is mistaken. Your God does not know your affiliation, your think tank that is connected throughout the Germany doesn't understand anything about me. Angela Merkel wanted this news here because it was this girl that appealed to me and she wanted to see basically what my feedback is going to be in this and that. And really, when the news was released, I made the video. Five days ago, I made the video and I didn't know what to say about this stuff because this was the girl that I cared a lot about during MKUltra. It was very beautiful to me, repeatedly came out. Next to her is a lady that was involved in MKUltra, God knows, in uh, 2099, where she worked, I think that her company even went bankrupt or whatever it was. I don't know what the hell it was. I know it was some kind of company. She does have a bra brother and so on. This this blonde, she's blonde. You know, the girl that you see that is right next to her on the left side, she's blonde. And then right there on the right side is a brunette. The one on the left side, um, that girl, this one here on the right, this is probably about like 30. And the other one on the right side is not shy, is not far from 50, maybe even beyond. The one on the left, okay, the blonde, the one on the left that you see right there that's making a little bit sour face is also the girl I was interested in back in the day. She is probably 50, I would say past 50. The girl that you see on the left, uh, the lady that you see on the left, uh, is past 50, according to my calculations. And the girl on the right, that's a younger girl. That's a much younger girl. That's between, that's probably even less than 30 years old. About 30 years old. I don't know. She's been in the military for some time already. Two, both of them. Actually, the one on the right should be in the military since sometimes, like, I think, I'm not even sure, 2017, something like that. The one on the left, however, much, much longer. I am not going to go into any kind of scenarios and this and that. These are the girls. I don't, I suggest you not to mess with because they're, straight connected to the Vladimir Putin. This is like direct connection to the Vladimir Putin. You're going to mess with these girls and you're going to be sorry. As simple as this. They are used to stink. 
soldiers that would go out and rape females and that kind of stuff. They do have a certain purpose. Germans wanted to know, and it's interesting because it, it appears on a German news, how I feel about this stuff. How, how is it that, you know, how is it that I feel, right? They wanted to know about how is it Angela Merkel wanted, insisted to know how I feel about this stuff. Yeah. So this females that appealed to me, and this one here was in the picture big time, this blonde, blonde right there, she, she played with this stuff. They refer to them, Indian Indians were used to escort me as part of the foreign team throughout the Russia, uh, visiting this military installation with, with the Putin. Interesting, and they refer to these women as uh, field wives, that, that the Putin is collecting the wives from me, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, they... Germans wanted to know from me about how do I feel about these things? How exactly do I feel about this thing? Because they wanted to know basically in which direction they will go to. Because the asshole, the anus, wanted to know basically which cards to play. And this is exactly what I stood for European leaders on not to do when it all started back in a day. This is exactly what I put taught European leaders on how to not see themselves in relation with actually what uh, you know, as a result of this, I, I think you can understand from my talk. I, I think I think when I told you about the Western God, I think you don't have to be a genius to understand what where the whole thing is going to now go to. I, I also outlined you already in which direction I am going to be moving, regardless. And we'll go and absolutely annihilate absolutely everything in front of me, whatever is going to stand my way. It doesn't matter to me. If it's going to be German, Dutch, British, it's going to be even sweeter to destroy on the court. Or till my last breath will be exposing this God, this Anus, this Western Anus to the world. So the world gets the idea about this shit we are dealing with. A different, not ethnicity, but different race, race out of fucking space that has a different plan, own plan, not only for the Europe, but also for the entire world. I hope the Chinese side is not going to use my views to promote the war against Ukraine, selling weaponry to the Russia. Because there is people, majority of the Europeans, such as the Italians, especially Italians, and Germans, and French, and British, do not see themselves in this special anus, in this special interest, in this special God with the face of the asshole. Anus. Yeah, I want you to be disgusted with this British London, with the Buckingham Palace, and with the German politicians. I want, I want you to feel my rage. From Boers to uh, uh, from Boers in South Africa. I am going to go to the Serpenza, Mr. Serpenza is of Italian origins. He was heavily involved in MK Ultra. And his God even rated me as mentally ill 
uh, based on the videos that uh, I produce. Uh, however, he did made a res he reserved to demonstrate me uh, how I act with only one video he produced because he is very very brilliant. This is a very very intelligent guy, you know. This is this is incredibly. This is this is a very very this is a very very smart guy. Yes, very 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 intelligent guys this year. Um, he's got an eye on China. He's got a Chinese wife. Um, I don't see myself in in. Uh, I don't absolutely see myself in absolutely anything he's got to say. He's got some uh, videos that uh, are good and could be used by the Chinese government. Um, to rather improve the situation. However, the majority of them, I think, are toxic. Uh, and this is the video this South African have used to use at least language. I mean, what do you expect mind. from a country where the parliament looks like this? You see, some of us don't know English. He, adopted he um, my style declared somewhat. a state of emergency and over this power thing. And the only reason he declared a state of emergency is it gives the government certain leeway and powers to do things that normally would have to be approved through parliament and stuff. So if it's a state of emergency, they don't have to. He is like through this video, if you will watch one, he's acting like uh, a little bit like mentally ill. I would say, deliberately so, in a way to protest is what he stated me, but explain me that this is the only video that makes him, about his homeland, about the South Africa, that makes him see himself in me, it basically in the videos that I project to the public. And it, the truth here is, this is, this is, I'm not denying this that I have been so much humiliated, I have been so much tortured, abused, that very often times I want to project crazy picture about me, deliberately to the public. I want to look stupid, I want to look crazy sometimes, but never to degree that the god of Anus would abuse me further than what it did. Don't mistake me for this guy here. I'm coming from a different background. I can't afford to wear suits to look cool. I'm from a different world. Without ever collecting one single cent from my online work, for every, from everything I did. I'm coming from a totally different world than this guy. He's got at least his god of Anus, I should say, of Asus Anus on his side. I don't even have that. I'm not complaining. I now reject his god. It was time when I was, when I started very long time, I started to see myself more and more erratically in his God. But I did came to conscience, I did came to clear sense that it's a think tank. I mentioned to you partially earlier, connected throughout the Germany, through the out university institutions throughout the Germany that Angela Merkel had used that it's literally being used to evaluate where from within the mental illness should go. This news, however, is what pertains to the part number one, where I started the whole discussion about Zelensky 
on how to pursue Zelensky, on how to view Zelensky, his views on Gaza, his presidency overall, if beneficial or potentially even destructive for Ukraine. And more than Zelensky, work of the Ukrainian bloggers, independent media sites, so that the Ukrainian soldiers and the Ukrainian nation is going to remain true to itself, to themselves, to himself, when it comes to bloggers, to, to, to themselves. I don't want this kind of God of Anus, of, of asshole Anus. To take me anymore on 180 miles, 180 kilometers an hour rights anymore to present himself to me as beneficial. This is why the part number two, because it's, it's this matrix of unnecessary bullshit that we even became surrounded with. And it's my honor, ladies and gentlemen, to be also the first one to say, to give you a middle finger and say, fuck to God, Ovanos, not here, you're not welcome to come here. I reject you on every instance and will use my God to destroy you indif indefinitely. I had to discuss these issues about the Western politic, about Big Brother is surveillance through the computer, through the androids through what I am certain cameras inside of the house, based on which Western God of Anus is making decisions as per in which direction one will move on, including using the direction of what Russian soldiers demonstrated here, this injections, basically previously, if you have seen the video that I demonstrated you. as an option, as a valid option. Because basically, after 51 years of this so-called the MK Ultra, this is what my case this is what my case is summarizing to. This is basically what I am It appears that this this here basically is what I get from the asshole is anus from the Western God, basically. This is what the Western gods. These are the alternatives that this is what was this is what the God from the West gave me, basically. This is the shit that, that I'm given after 51 years. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not this is not alternative for anybody. How much I started to hate this this god of Merkel, of British royals, of Prince King Charles, of this royalists. Yeah, it's impossible for me to explain. I am not being frustrated. I'm making a good point about the direction which the world is making and making sure that the world is aware. That the world is aware as much as possible of, you know,
based on my personal opinion, easy come, easy go, big flies sideways, direction is unknown, whichever fucking way, politic that is being enforced through the scumbaggery, in my case, literally through Slovenian police. I wouldn't even talk about Slovenian psychiatry and stuff that was used in 2013 against me because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Slovenians had psychiatrists involved against me since my early childhood. What sense the fuck does it make if they trap me you for four years and then they throw you finally inside of the psychiatric hospital after the four years of torture? to talk about the psychiatrist. It doesn't make no fucking sense, is it? Does it make any sense to you? To me, it doesn't. But this is what God of Anos, basically God of the asshole, with the face of the Anos, Western God, provided me with. This is all the assistance I ever got with now Stuff like this, basically. Delivering the Russian citizens, making a news, basically. Hysterical stuff. Landing even, as I said, with the light injuries inside of the hospital. Local hospital in the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, with... Uh, Russian citizens that were involved in MK Ultra. But this guy just insisted that he wants to be this and that he will do this and that and that uh, he will pick them up, I don't know, where in Croatia or whatever, made arrangement with the I don't need this fucking shit here. In Dutch they know they they they, they know the word fucking shit. This guy is, is, this guy could probably, no, I don't know if he could qualify as a boer, but he speaks Dutch, this guy. He understands Dutch. Well, you know, his God erased my life. It started to get his God erased my life, and his God is erasing Eastern Europe. And this is the kind of God I cannot defeat. Whether Zelensky is doing a good job or is not doing a good job negotiated war in Ukraine demonstrated us not that mental illness is on the rise but negotiated war in Ukraine demonstrated us that a god we are being raped to settle for the God with the face of honors from the West. It's about nothing other than mental illness on all levels, instances of life. It has a complete disdain for a reality is demanding from people to project through the media Things that already happened in the past. It's surreal. It's a god. Of, it's a surreal god. It's a surreal shit. Making picture blur. Impossible to see to see through one anymore. What is happening in reality? Using clusterfuck lies, corrupt journalism, to completely cover the media, the internet with the news through which 
investigative journalism journalists have no capacity, no ability to reach through and make any kind of sense out of one anymore. That's the whole point about this part number two. It uh, heavily pertains to the Western military support for the Ukraine, which I hope example I have used. It's manipulated through the media. The journalists, they, they copy paste from one another. We don't know nothing about really what is going on. We have no fucking idea what is going on at the front line. What's happening really in Ukraine? Where the whole thing is really going to? And it's heavily impacting entire Eastern Europe. It's got a heavy impact on entire Eastern Europe. It destabilized entire Eastern Europe with over half a million people dead in Ukraine. If this stuff is funny to you. 300,000 Russian troops dead. And I bet on the other side, it must have been bloody too, with a numerous also civilians, probably more than half a million. God knows what the real numbers are. I'm not going to even go into the number of crippled. But the numbers are horrific. With the cities demoluted, destroyed, annihilated completely, almost as different as if you would throw nuclear bombs on the cities itself. This is God of Anus, I should say, face of the God that, whose face is really like from the asshole, is Anus, smoking, basically not talking, through their free mainstream media. Invitation to the European Union is mentally ill, is insane, it is sick. A score of Ukrainian land has been lost in this negotiated war with so far close to nothing, actually really nothing being done about this occupation. Which situation completely differs from if the case would be the same would be would happen to the Finland before one even became a NATO member or Sweden. This, this is a total gear. I know that West would work and with 100% certainty, Vladimir Putin did not attack much bigger, much larger than Sweden and Finland, Ukraine. There is 45 million people in Ukraine uh, opposed to Finland. I don't know, is it 6 million with the 10 million in Sweden people? That's all there is to it. He had many easier targets, but those targets Putin knew would prove to be totally little for one, if he would have done that. So he decided to take a much, much bigger counterpart on Ukraine. Rightfully so. Very pro-calculated in complete agreement and consensus with Western politicians who appear to me, they aren't sure in which direction they should be moving. Even today. Demanding from me, literally from United States of America, to defend against Europeans American assistance to Ukraine. Basically, demand increase in military assistance from the European countries. 
I'm afraid that there is nothing to, to demand because based on what I see, it's actually very nothing that was given to Ukraine. I would like to say bigger donor, smaller donor, that kind of donor and this kind of donor, but this is really a donkey. Donor is the one that gets the job done, basically. The war in Ukraine is war against the Germany, it's war against the Italy, it's war against the Britain, it's Scandinavia, United States of America. Chinese don't like this, my saying this, but I have to because I need assistance from these people for Ukraine. I'm not saying this so the Chinese would see themselves in Russia or whatever. I'm not saying this stuff. I am just saying this stuff so that something can be done about this, so that this war against people of Ukraine would not be misinterpreted as a form of assistance, a form of help, this negotiated war, excuse me, from the West. Nothing was given so far to Ukraine in this totally negotiated war. Ukraine have already lost a quarter of the land, has a great difficulty, and the Western leaders appear to be searching absolutely any possible way out of problems they have created in, in Ukraine, possibly even with uh, Ukrainian counterparts. I have no idea, but special interests have a long way to go. It's very difficult to, to blame Vladimir Zelensky when you don't actually know what is happening on a front line. I came as close as I possibly could. It doesn't get worse when you have than what you when you have your soldiers joining to the enemy. Now, obviously that something pissed them off. Obviously that something is out there that doesn't work, but I don't know anything about this stuff. Maybe even worse than this is actually soldiers that are totally fucked up, exhausted in the ditches without giving any break to refill, exercise normally. It's like it would put them in a fucking ditches until they get fucking tired, exhausted, bombed the fuck out of it so that you can move on with your plan. You know what I'm saying? With a great plan of a great delay, the help that never counts, the numbers that you can write on a paper, you can just write the write-offs. Like you, this is not fucking student aid. These are fucking human lives that are being lost in the process. The whole fucking country, the whole nation is being wiped out, deleted, demolished. I'm just saying that Ukraine has made decision. Will run its own world of affairs. Freedom will exercise the freedom through ability to interconnect with other nations without being interfered by Russia, bullied, harassed by Russia. And it shouldn't be viewed by mistake as a mistake because a few special interest because of a few people that have this God and are using one to impose the order, basically punish absolutely everybody, including their own citizens in Italy, in France, in Spain, in Germany, in Britain, United States, all over the place. It's not about the Ukraine only. Majority of Italian, uh, uh, Italians, Germans, people, regular people, good people. But the question is how far this goodness goes. 
The goodness is okay. The schizophrenia is not okay. Schizo, schizo shit, don't bring one to me. Don't bring me the schizo shit on my doorsteps. Don't do that kind of stuff to me. I have a fucking email. I have a fucking telephone. I have fucking doorsteps to the house. I have a fucking address. Don't try to make it up with your fucking honors. God, asshole. God of assholes. For what you fuck it up. In Gorizia and in Berlin. What you continue to fuck it up. For 50 years. To me. My life. You delete it. Don't try to correct this shit with your fucking schizophrenic shit. Rammstein would say this is not a fucking love song. No, this is not a love song. This is also the end of your think tank, of your disgusting think tank, of your big brother house, cameras in my ass, surveillance of the phones, computers and everything to see in which way it's going to be moving and that's how we're going to progress the news and everything else. Keep the options open. Fuck you. This is your end. This is the beginning of your end. And I hope the world is going to support me. I count on countries other than European and United States of America to get support. To depict to the world the real picture about the Western God. The God of Anus. Asso Anus. The asshole is Anus that delivered to me in Miami Russian spies, Russian murderers, as they advertise them on the media, face to face, giving me, forgiving me. Uh, basically forgiving me, basically suggesting me on how many occasions I could be killed in the United States of America, etc., etc., etc. This is the stuff that went on when I was in the U.S. from 95 to August of 2006. They would flash me with this people they actually delivered to the United States and so on, and from Russia and uh, and we're using this kind of stuff to, uh, I, it, 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 it's really not the stuff that, that even intimidates me. It's just, this shit is just fucking bizarre. The fucking mentally ill shit. That no country, no nation in this world should ever fucking settle for. World must condemn this fucking God, this fucking asshole honest God and call one for what it is. The Western world is not matching the standards of the normal society anymore. It's a fucking zoo. Given what I stated here right now, it is impossible for me to judge Vladimir Zelensky, isn't it? It is difficult for me to give you opinion about Vladimir Zelensky, but people do suffer over there in those ditches. And based on MK Ultra, he seems like he's doing a very good job. He seems like he's doing a very good job. In the video below here, I offer you also some other vision here. This really caught my attention. That one is really more dedicated to Vladimir Zelensky, how he caught my attention by repeating that all the eyes are on Gaza, all the eyes are on Gaza, and so on. 
uh, rather than what I expose over there is a lot of stuff that's happening and uh, it just it was very very minimal I feel that in meanwhile have done on in the field in respect to Ukrainian troops because his job is really alert world about really what's happening about the progress on a front line which was like totally minimalistic with Vladimir Putin basically bombing the fuck out of Ukraine really dropping real bombs but what kind of bombs boy annihilating basically civilian targets that's all economy that's all fucking money that's more write-offs if you like that Ukraine is going to need to survive on a long term whatever is going to be left out of Ukraine if Ukraine will even have any more after this kind of betrayal desire to exist on the map it's about a mass demoralization mass destruction of Ukrainian nation destruction of Ukrainian state total annihilation of Ukraine literally from the side of the West see yourself in a Western partners as long as you can see yourself yeah totally totally copy paste from my case that's what Americans Germans Britons were doing to me instigating to see myself in them till half a century I lost half a century of time I fucking lost to realize that it's it's a fucking double game with a lot of buggers in my back being fucking slashed from all the sides in my soul with nothing other than betrayal for half a century from Americans, Britons, Germans, Italians especially and Germans especially it's like a copy paste it's like a fucking copy paste destiny of Ukraine is like a fucking copy paste from what the West have done to me literally it's like a fucking copy paste play 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 till you become completely demoralized completely destroyed and you fell apart well I hope Ukrainian nation is strong enough to withstand this shit to this to withstand this kind of demoralization this kind of betrayal this kind of backstabbing this kind of disgusting treachery that we have witnessed we, we witnessed this stuff already for two years I'm telling you this was for the Finland for the Sweden for the non-NATO countries the countries that joined to NATO now but before they were not but they didn't have to join before to the NATO because it wouldn't make absolutely any difference whether they did join the NATO or not NATO would go insane crazy about defending their every inch every square inch of their territory unlike the cases in the case of Ukraine, in the case of Finland and Sweden, if something like this would happen, they would find a solution within the day. Or nobody would hesitate to return to Russia with everything they have. And that's basically how you know this world is fucking negotiated as anything can possibly be negotiated. War. With a, some kind of a think tank. Think, think tank mental illness shit basically she's a shit spreading across the globe like a fucking cancer like a fucking brain cancer going from one to another jumping all over making people sick to see themselves in this to see themselves in that and basically playing the, with the destiny of the nations not anymore with the people but with the destiny of a nation as big as is ukrainian like with a fucking soccer ball like with a fucking basketball like on a court basically throwing them around like nothing like like a toy toying basically with the nations like this that's the part number two so that you will remember this shit. you need to you need to get your god your 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 god your your castle is Arnold with the face of Anus from the asshole needs to get the answer sometimes somewhere we got to begin this pounding on you has got to start somewhere you got to feel no your tank has got to understand what the fuck no is 
And your think tank is going to understand what no is when I will get support from others. And will, through the media, start to depict you basically what you are, what kind of stuff you have done to me, and it's the kind of stuff that you're using against the nation, against the entire country, to take down the whole world, because you don't see yourself. You don't see yourself in me, Inc., and you don't even see yourself in Eastern Europeans, from what I can tell you. You suck that much about Ukrainian membership inside of the European Union. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.